Hello guys and welcome to my guide on the new round of the Nightmare Corridor. Now, this guide will be a guide focused around uh, not having the two new Celestial Hypogen heroes, uh, Lucilla and Liberta, um, because I believe uh, it's a good idea to wait to pop the trial until later on, because if everyone pops the trial this week and you have it available for next week, uh, you could get a much higher ranking next week. Um, so my I'll show you guys the teams that I used without uh, the two trial heroes to kill the, the Nightmare Corridor 6 bosses. And then I'll also show you guys uh, what to do if you have the trial heroes. Uh, and I'll also show you guys some different um, some different variations that popped up now that the um, the first team is now rotated out, which frees up a lot of heroes. heroes and notably, uh, Yorin is no longer uh, needed in the first team, which actually uh, gives some wiggle room. Now, initially... Let me take a look at the teams that I use to have my time uh, without the new heroes, right? So for the first team here, this is the team that we have been using uh, most recently, where I merc a a, a um, Matria, and then I throw I threw in Kines and Rook. You can use uh, any other hypergen really. Like you can use um, Isis in here. You could use pretty much any support in here. Uh, normally, you would want to use Rowan in here, but as you guys will see later, I needed a uh, Rowan is needed elsewhere. Um, so this is the first formation, right? And for the second formation, this is the same that is, as it is usually. Um, obviously, if you had Awakened Thane, if you had Awakened Athalia, uh, they could slot in here instead of Caracio. But Caracio is a very good alternative to those two heroes for those of you who don't have them, like me. Now, for the third team here, um, this is where there's a bit of change. And the reason there's a bit of change here is because uh, Rowan is now needed in this formation um, because uh, I believe it was Halius who was in here previously is needed in the fifth fight, which I'll show you guys later on. But this is the Belinda team. Um, and I think if you don't have Belinda, uh, there is actually a variation without Belinda that I found. Uh, and I'll actually I'll just real quick show you guys that one. Um, and it is this one right here that I found over on Discord. Shout out to Giant Baby. He's also from my guild. Um, and then, as you can see here, instead of Belinda, he's using uh, Yorin along with Solus, right? So the team that was usually in the first uh, battle last week, uh, he's using those two um, in here um, instead of Awakened Belinda. So here's a alternative to Awakened Belinda if you have Yorin and Solus built. Um, I just thought this was interesting, so I wanted to share it with you guys before I forgot. Now, going back to the, uh, the, the game in here, right? I'm using the Awakened Belinda here. Um, basically, use support, use... Um, Anasta in here uh, and use Yorin or Belinda as your carry unit. Now for the uh, the uh, fourth fight here, um, this is the Scarlet round, right? Um, now usually I would use Twins in here for the link between Scarlet and Gris, but Twins is needed elsewhere because these last two bosses are super tough to get um, to kill, especially if you don't have uh, Liberta and um, well, I, uh, Lucilla, right? I believe other names, um, and therefore I'm I, I'm need uh, my Twins are needed elsewhere. Um, and also, I believe this could be Helios, uh, possibly as well. Um, or it could be um, Damia as well. But Damia and Helios are both needed elsewhere. So now we get to what is actually the tough part of this uh, week to, to uh, solve for me anyways. I used a lot of retries here. Um, and for the first team, uh, it's basically a, a, a combination of these two teams is what you have to solve um, to get this one done. Now, this is much similar to last week, right, um, where we... Um, we used a, a similar formation, um, but we did use Rem in here, right? Rem was instead of um, instead of Yor in here. And as you can see, my time is terrible, right? And I'm even using a, a seal pet. Um, and I will say, uh, if you can use Rem in here, you really want to, or Awakened uh, Athalia or any other carry, really. Um, but if you don't have the Lucilla or Liberta trial, uh, you would need them. Uh, uh, you would need Rem in the last formation. As you can see here, Rem is the carry here. So... For me, I had to try a lot of things in here. Uh, and for me, this is personally what worked out for me using Yorin. You can use um, you can use Mulan in Yorin's uh, position to also kill the boss. I've seen screenshots and I'll show you guys those screenshots as well. Um, but for me, at my investment in Mulan, which uh, is 30 engraving, 20 signature item and 9 furniture, it was not enough to kill the boss. And even this uh, team right here... Um, I had to have good RNG to actually kill the boss in time. Like I would say maybe one in three attacks kills the boss with this formation. So I had to use a lot of retries to make it work. Um, but I thought that my guide should really focus about uh, focus on uh, the non-trial part uh, of this uh, rotation. That way you guys can, when your trial runs out, if you popped it, you can go back here and look at what I did without those two new heroes. Um, now the last team here, uh, this is where 
you need to pull in a lot of things. Uh, similar to if you didn't have Matria back in the days, um, you would need to pull in twins to make Kren work in this formation. Now you can use uh, you can use Brutus, you can use Awakened Sophia. There's lots of variations in the first fight, but here. Uh, we're basically pulling in the Avengers. We're pulling we're pulling in Damia, we're pulling in Palmer from the Belinda team, Damia from the Scarlet team, and Twins from the Scarlet team to make Rem be able to kill this boss. And trust me, I've tried a lot of things here, and this is by far the best setup for this one. And I've tried, you know, throwing out uh, Twins for Helios or, or, or what have you. Um, and this is what works out for me. Um, so these are my five teams, right? First team, same as before, same as before. Uh, similar to before, um, then we have a Scarlet team, right? We have a Yorin team instead of um, Rem. If you have Rem here, right, you want to use him here, but I need Rem here to kill the six bosses, right? That's what I focused on, was killing all six bosses, uh, and then I could work my way up. But as you can see here, obviously my rank has suffered a lot because I, don't, uh, I haven't popped the trials yet. Um, but that's it for my formations, right? Um, but now let's look at some other things. Um, obviously, if you guys pop the trial, right, uh, it's a lot easier because you can then use uh, Lucilla and uh, Liberta in here, freeing up Rem for here, and then obviously freeing up uh, Damia for here, and Twins for here, or uh, Damia and Twins in here, and then you can free up uh, Palmer for the Scarlet team, right, and everything just dominoes back down, right, and that way your teams get a lot better. But let me go over to the browser real quick, because there's uh, actually a few things that I want to show you guys. Um, and first of all, I want to uh, show you guys this guide, which is a translated Chinese guide, I believe. Um, and looking at this guide, you know, it is of use. However, um, it heavily relies on you having the new Celestial and Hypergen heroes. Uh, otherwise, you can't even follow this guide. As you can see, when we go down here, they don't have a single alternative here that doesn't include the new, the new uh, Celestial hero. So this will be pretty much useless once the trial runs out for most players but i will walk through through it again because it has some interesting information for example it it recommends uh, murking thane where i'm a big advocate for murking uh, basically one of these two heroes to help in the first formation um but i could see that thane might be better at this point because thane just uh, does save you a lot of time in here but i think the crash team is uh, completely fine in here anyways so for the first team obviously right sophia you can use you can use matria you can use brutus uh, and Sophia, or you can use Brutus and Kren, and you can also use Kren on his own, but then you would need twins instead of Brutus. So that's not a very attractive option uh, for the first team. For the second team, right, this is the same team as usual. Um, as you can see, the two variations they list here are the um, Awakened uh, variations. Um, however, if you guys use the formation that I use for the second fight, um, if we just quickly jump over, as you can see here, I'm using Karasio instead of both of those, and therefore I don't have to use an Awakened hero in here. And the time, uh, is fine. It's even better if you can free up the seal pet, which I could not for this round. Um, anyways, then we go to the, the crying girl boss. Um, and here you use uh, the girl boss, right? B Awakened Belinda, obviously. And as you can see, here's the uh, variation without Awakened Belinda. You can use um, you can use uh, Yorin instead, uh, basically the team that just rotated out. Um, it should be said, though, that the top uh, formations are the best, right? So this is best in slot, this is worse, and then this is worse. Um, and that's how this guide is structured. Now for this boss, right, it's the Scarlet boss. Um, and as you can see here, because twins are out, um, there's actually no real reason to using grass. And as you can see, there are some different uh, variations here and no Damia replacements, uh, unfortunately. Um, but that's where you're going to have to cook up a bit. For me, I used uh, Rain, I used this guy, uh, Estrilda, and then I used, um, what did I use actually? Uh, Awakened Solace, right? Um, just some supports, basically. Uh, and then here we have um, the cry for help if you don't have the uh, Liberta trial, because you would need to use him in here, but if you don't have him, you need to use Rem in here, or I need to use Rem in here, because I only have two Awakened Heroes. Maybe if you had more Awakened Heroes, you could fix this uh, by just slotting in uh, Athalia or something. Um, but for me, that's not an option. So in here, right, uh, this is the best in slot team, yes, uh, but it uses Rem, which is needed in here if you don't have Liberta. So, uh, looking at, at here, right, you use the new Celestial Heroes in combination with supports, and as you can see here, there are lots of different uh, variations. There's even a variation that uses, that picks up the heroes uh, in the team that was just rotated out. So that could be a pretty alternate uh, or attractive ac uh, option uh, for those of you uh, who used the Yorin, well, everyone used the Yorin uh, formation last team and wanted to 
to keep your other teams similar, uh, then you could slot in this team. And as you can see down here for the four, four, um, the four hero challenge, uh, I did it with this bottom one here uh, with Rim and Damia and Palmer, and then uh, twins at the fifth position. Uh, and that got it done for me. <clears throat> I can't remember what pets, but I'm assuming it's one of these, right? Um, but yeah, again, this guide, I mean, I can't say it's bad, right? It's really good. It lists uh, variations for the best, uh, different best and slot formations, uh, but it's not super free to play friendly, right? For here, they don't mention the free to play options. Uh, here, they do. They don't mention the current comp. Uh, here, I agree. Here, they don't mention what you can do without awakening the. Th well, they kind of do. Actually, this is fine. And then for these two, this is um, not super easy to follow as a free to play player. And that's where I would look at my formations. But looking at something else, um, this was what I showed you earlier, right, where you could sub out Belinda. Um, but I actually wanted to show you guys something else, um, which is this fifth round, right? Um, so if we go back into the game real quick uh, here, as you can see, uh, I used Yorin in here. Um, and that's what worked out best for me. If I go back a bit in my attempts, uh, you could probably find one where I used here, where I used Mulan. Now, Mulan works, right? Uh, we know this because we can tell uh, in here, right? We can tell that Mulan works. However, at my investment, Mulan did not work. And also this guy has a, 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 a level 18 seal, right? So for me, this comp did not work. Even I even uh, popped some um, some extra furniture on Emilia trying to make it work. Um, but it, I just had to sell it for Yorin uh, because Mulan, my Mulan was not strong enough. But I would try this out. Um, a few times it's pretty RNG heavy, and if it doesn't work, try using Yorin. And that if that doesn't work, then um, you're kind of out of luck for this uh, battle. Um, so yeah, Mulan is an option here, uh, and and the whole reason we want to use Mulan and not Rem is because then we can use Rem for the fifth battle, um, as I showed you earlier. Because then you don't need the new trial hero. Now this is a terrible. Dear God, what did I do with this screenshot? Um, I'm not gonna bother finding the original but this is uh i apologize for this uh this quality right here but i believe the reason i, I brought this one is because in the second team right where i use Carasio, this guy uses mishka because i have had a lot of uh, people ask me hey what's a replacement for Carasio, right and the funny thing is Carasio is a replacement for awaken thane and awaken the thalia so now and and when they asked me for a replacement for basically the third replacement um i didn't have an answer but as you can see here mishka actually works um you will probably need her E60 as usual for Mishka, but Mishka actually works in the second fight if you don't have Karasio. And uh, the rest of this is pretty similar, right? It's the Belinda, Scarlet, and then as you can see here, at the end he uses uh, Rem, right? He uses Rem, and then he uses um, a strong, I know you guys can't see this really, but trust me when I say he uses a fairly strong Mulan for the fifth team, right? Um, so this is also a, 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 a option without trial. Now there's one last thing I wanted to show you guys, and it's this one. Now, let me just remind myself why I wanted to show you guys this one. Actually, I, I just remember that and it's because it's in a in better quality than this one and it's similar teams. So I apologize that you guys had to live, live through um, those teams, right? I'm sorry about that. Um, so anyways, uh, this guy's using the Bruce, uh, the Brutus variant, but that um, needs Karasio. Then you can't use Karasio here, but you could use Karasio here and then try out the Mishka comp that I just showed you guys here. Uh, obviously Belinda, obviously uh, Scarlet, right? And then here he's using the Mulan variant again. Uh, and as you can see here, Mulan is uh, fully built. Well, she doesn't have engraving maxed, uh, but this guy only has a level 12 um, seal. So... This team works, as you can see, one minute and thirty, right? It's 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 cutting it close, but it does work. Uh, but he has some fairly high investment in these heroes. And then lastly, as you can see here, um, the rem team, right, using all the supports. And this is the same rem setup uh, that I used for the the last fight. But those are some options for you guys. Uh, if you don't want to pop your trial uh, yet, uh, like me, I'm waiting to pop my trial until next week um, because I believe once everyone once well. Actually, it's more like the week after that one, because once everyone's trial run out, um, I believe there's a lot of uh, ranking to gain by having those uh, heroes fully built out. Um, that being said, I do think I will uh, stargaze for um, the Celestial hero um, once uh, once things have settled, because that, that hero seems to fit in. Um, and also, uh, when it comes to my Celestial and Hybrogens, it seems to be around... 
the priority that I should put on the next hero, right? I'm building this guy from the shop, but even these two heroes, uh, um, Orthos and Tilene, are falling out of meta, right? So building the new Celestial sounds like a good idea. Also, I need help with the Celestial Tower, so that's good. For the new uh, Hypergene hero, I'm probably not going to bother. I might get a single copy of her. Um, but I'm not too stressed about her. I, I'm, I'm not too impressed uh, with her either. Um, but obviously I could be wrong and then she could end up being super, super important for Liberta. But so far, I, I'm not I'm not convinced. But that is it. Um, this is a longer video I can already tell. So let's just do a recap. I like to do those at the end of the video. Now, this guide is focused up around you not popping the trial. These are the teams that I used, right? Um, only using three Awakened Heroes, right? Two that I own and then one that I merged. Those are my teams. Uh, if you have popped the Trials, you can look at the top leaderboards. If you haven't popped the Trials, you can look at this. If you have a strong Mulan, this can be very attractive for you. Um, if you don't have Carasio, you can look in here, right? Here's a Carasio replacement. Um, and also, if you don't have Belinda, here's a Belinda replacement uh, using Awakened Solace instead. Uh, and then you have this general guide here. I'll obviously link all these screenshots in the description below. Um, and this general guide is probably if you have a more well-built account with multiple Awakened Heroes and the Trial, uh, then you could look at this uh, guide and, and play around. I want to apologize to you guys. Uh, this guide is late, I know. I just returned from my grandparents. Um, yeah, I didn't uh, I didn't realize uh, I had stuff to do today, so it, it got out kind of kind of late. And I do apologize about that. But if you guys were waiting for my guide, uh, here it is. And if your guys' uh, trial version of Liberta and um, the new Celestial, uh, or the new Celestial and the new Hypergene hero, Liberta and Lucilla, run out, you can go check back on this guide and you can see um, what I did without those two heroes. But this is already a long-winded guide, so I'm going to end it off here. Um, I'll be back next week um, with an updated guide. Maybe I'll have some improvements to my team and I'll also return with some more um, Treasure Scramble teams uh, next week. So I'll see you guys then. Uh, take care.